in the garden. Dan Bangkok, your cup power looks great, Gary. Thank you so much, Dan. Hope one day I can cook it for you. So I'm going to wait for a few more people to get into the chat so we can uh, have a little talk about what we're doing. And uh, then my lovely wife, Helen. No, please. Oh, she doesn't want to be filmed. My lovely wife, my better half, is going to do the filming for us. All right, so let's see, um, let's see if some people join the chat. In the meantime, I'll uh, show you around my garden. So just, just anywhere, babe, sorry. All right, we've got five in the chat. How you doing, hon? Sorry, you're in there. Oh, man. All right, so, guys, I have just got back from work. So I could think of other things to do now, because I know a lot of you say this to me, look. When I talk about cooking, a lot of people say, you don't have time to cook, you're busy, and I understand that, I, I, I hear it. But I've just done a 10 hour shift, come back, set up the garden. I've got absolutely no equipment whatsoever from Thailand, but we're gonna do our best. Okay, so we got Dan in the chat. What's going on? Jobless foodie, how you doing? Tracy, lovely to see you. Nobba, hey, hey, Hugh, yes, how are you? All right, 25 in the chat. When we get up to about 30, 35? Native Farang, yes, how you doing? I'm still waiting to come and see those chickens. Hopefully October. Loving the videos, by the way, guys. As I always say, if you guys aren't on Native Farang's channel yet, get on over there. Really, really interesting stuff. Not your average uh, Thai YouTuber. Rockall, what's going on, boss? Joe, guten tag. Ellen, how you doing? John, my man. Mike, let's go. All right, so I'll show you my setup. Guys. As I said, as I said, I've got absolutely nothing from Thailand. So I have an old wok, which was rusted completely, that I have somewhat restored. An old banged up camping stove. Now I do have like a big fiery gas burner, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you won't have that. So I thought I'd just do it on something that would be similar to what you're gonna use at home. Sauce wise, okay. Fish sauce. Now we're gonna use this twice. We're gonna use this for Pik Nam Ba chili fish sauce. And we're also gonna put it in the kapow. Not everyone uses fish sauce, but I'll explain a bit more about that later. We've got oyster sauce and I've got a uh, mer krua, my favorite type of oyster sauce from Thailand. We've got golden mountain seasoning sauce. Now, if you don't wanna use this, cause it does have flavor enhancers in it, you can just use light soy sauce. So any sort of combination of these sauces you want. Now, I don't have black soy sauce. Uh, which is a common ingredient in kapow in Thailand, Thai dark soy sauce, which I don't particularly like. It's got quite a metallic taste. I think it can be a bit overpowering if you use too much. So I would leave out the dark soy sauce altogether, but if I was to use dark soy sauce, uh, I would be using Chinese dark soy sauce, a premium dark soy sauce. Fon, hello. Del, how you doing? Watching from Italy, nice. Harlix, I'm all good, mate, how are you? Sabrina, love the content, oh, I'm so happy. All right, hopefully my wife can continue with this, uh, reading out the comments. Uh, Richard and Oi, how are you? Okay, so this is for our Pignan Bar. So I have a shallot, which I've peeled. I've got some green chilies, Thai bird's eye in England, or Pik Jinda, I guess, in Thailand. Okay, so you'll want green chilies, as I said, shallot, lime. Now, for the actual mix of the kapow, I've got red Pik Jinda. Am I saying that right, Dan? And some garlic. Now I can't get Thai garlic. Thai garlic would be small cloves about this size, which you don't peel. Now I'm not gonna peel any of the garlic because um, it's too much of a faff. I'm actually gonna nick a couple of these green chilies to put in with my red chilies. And this, uh, you could also add some dried, like chopped up red chilies as well, which I usually would, but I don't have any, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Yeah, need you in a minute, hun. Right, so I'm gonna fire that bad boy up. We're gonna do our eggs first. So I've got some free range eggs. I'm gonna show you uh, a special way to do your kapow eggs. I've also got some steamed Thai jasmine rice. This is all you're gonna need. You'll notice that I don't have any sugar on the table. Now, the reason I don't have any sugar on the table is because I don't like my food sweet and there's already enough sugar in the oyster sauce. And this is one of the oyster sauces with less sugar in. So if you're using a different brand, it's gonna have even more sugar. Trust me, guys, you are going to 
love this i've also because i'm using chicken instead of pork i've got a little bit of chicken stock that i made with the bones and the skin off the chicken thighs that i just chopped up for the kapow i've actually left that inside though i think so i will go and get it in a sec han could you bring my chicken out i left it in a little bowl please uh, i left the chicken inside could you bring that out for me please suwani so what the cup from switzerland bruce wayne hello everyone hope you're doing well look forward to you how you prepared a fried egg on this one right so i'm going to do it the way that i like to do it sometimes it takes a couple of goes guys but this is this is okay because we're doing home cooking we're not cooking in a restaurant we can have as many goes at this as we want um and if that goes wrong i'll just fry it normally babukas love your videos discovered your channel through paddy what a legend paddy is you watched his new ones all right so as i said guys thank you hun as i said guys usually i would use pork mince 20 percent fat at least but I know some of you don't eat pork, so just for the purposes of this video, I've used chicken thigh, which I've diced myself. There's about 120 grams there. You don't want to use too much more than that because you don't want to crowd the pan. No spice, no life. Exactly, my friend. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is the baker pal, the holy basil leaves, okay? So, this... Is holy basil if i can put it down somewhere i didn't really think this one through guys didn't plan this too much okay this is holy basil tulsi or baker pal shape of that right now some people if they can't find that use either thai basil or italian basil now look at the leaf on that the leaf the leaves the leaves on that and then look at that completely different plant nowhere near the same thing please guys i am begging you do not use italian basil or thai basil for this dish if you can't get baker power just don't use it i mean just don't make the dish all right so should be showing you what i'm doing here shouldn't all right so we are going to go in with some rapeseed oil hot really hot so this is for our fried egg so we're going to need a lot of oil Han, Helen yeah can you come and film now please I can't believe I've roped her into this all right Keith Chaos love from Colchester Thailand is looking very much like England this time of year loving their little gar garden set up oh no I'm in England you know that oh no this way Just, yeah, yeah, just hold it. You don't, yeah, just hold it normally. Yeah? Yeah. All right, brilliant. You can read the read the okay. things if you want. Okay, hun, so if you come in close, that oil's at smoking point now. So what we're going to do with our egg, see, I don't have much room here, but not a problem. Right, I'm going to stick my rice over there. We're going to fry our egg and we're just going to put our egg to one side. Usually you're not going to have your egg piping hot in Thailand. All right, so if you come a little bit closer, hun, mm -hmm. what we're going to try and do, what I'm going to try and do with my two bowls, right, is I'm going to separate the white from the yolk. Oh, I've not made a very good job of that, but try not to crack the yolk, right? I'm going to keep that. Perfectly. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. All right, come in a little bit closer on that hunt. Right, that is absolutely That's baking. Good. Right, so we want that super crispy. Is that how Thai people do it? That's how some Thai people do it. So we want this super crispy, guys. Once that's starting to crisp up, then we're gonna drop our egg yolk on top. Now. There's a Kapow shop called Pad Kapow Bear 1993 in Wong Win Yai, and I saw them do this. Oh, oh, I've dropped it, I've dropped it, I've dropped it. Oh, no. We're going to have to have another go at this, guys. Make, I can't even see a normal egg. Huh? Put it on top. That's right, 
we'll have another go at this. As I said, guys, as I said, it doesn't matter if we mess this up because we're home cooking. So we can have another go at this, all right? But I've only got two more eggs, so I can't mess it up again. All right. All right, let's go again, guys. That's all right, don't worry about the wasps. What's everyone saying, hun? Can you read any of the questions? Oh, sorry. Get another egg, Gary. Crispy base. I'm in back to Bangkok for two weeks and ten days. Can't wait. All right. You sound like Keith Floyd? Keith Floyd's my idol. Is he a boxer? No, he's a famous celebrity chef. Remember, he was always pissed. Nice. Don't remember. All right. Just flick a little bit of oil on top. As I said, I've got no... I have got no equipment whatsoever. I'm using a wooden spoon, an old wok. So I don't want to hear any excuses about you haven't got equipment, you haven't got time to cook. All right, that should just hold together now. All right. If this one bursts, guys, we're going, I'm just going to come offline and uh, throw myself off a bridge. All right, do you know what? I need a spatula for that. You can, outside you can see how much Helen's family cook. They don't even have spatulas. We do have spatulas. All right, wait there for two seconds. I'm going to go and get a spatula. You can talk to Helen for a sec. It's got nothing to do with who's operating it. Doing a video, buddy. All right, guys. So, yolk is going to be super, super, super gummy. We'll rest that on some kitchen paper. No, yes, buddy. Can we do this while we're filming, please? All right, guys. All right. So next up, guys. Oh, this probably should have been first up. We'll get rid of that egg. First up, guys. Oh, thank you, James. What do you say? Thank you, Mum. Aww. All right, let's make the pig nam bar. So usually the chili fish sauce would be done first, but obviously I forgot. So come in a little bit closer, hon. Mm -hmm. So I've got a shallot, just one shallot, and some some green chilies, right? And a lime. So all we're gonna do, top and tail the shallot, and then. Pardon? Oh, don't worry about that. Wasps do really ruin outdoor cooking. They do, yeah. All right, so just one shallot will do because we're only doing one kapow. All right, and then it's up to you how many chilies you want. Now, you may be wondering why I'm wearing rubber gloves. Two reasons. One, because I don't think you're allowed to be a cook on on Instagram anymore, are you? Without without wearing a pair of rubber gloves. And two, I don't want chili all over my hands or garlic or shallots all over my hands, so. All right, buddy. Yeah. Yes, buddy. Yeah, they do a oh, soon, buddy. We're just gonna do a little video. <coughs> do you wanna go inside and see Auntie Amy, buddy? Babe, why don't you come in a little bit closer okay. so they can see the, the see, food, yeah? Okay, sorry. Well, Finley, Finley, do you want to go back inside, mate? No. And we can have dinner. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just going to use a little bit of lime, half a lime, and then top that up with some fish sauce. The reason I would have done this first is because you kind of want this onion and the chilies to brine a little bit, because this would be done first in the morning before like the Tamsang restaurants are open. So they'd be doing this first. So that'd be sitting there for a while. That's to go on top of the egg. Let's get rid of this. Put it in there, let that, oh, in there. Okay. Oh, I can smell that fish sauce. I can smell that fish sauce. Why are you using that one? Daddy's using it. Don't let Toffee eat it. 
All right, guys, next up. So, depending on how hot you want this, come in a little bit closer, babe. You, they don't need to see me, do they? All right, we're gonna use one, two, three, small clothes, four, five, six. This is just for one person, okay? And then I'm gonna use one, <laughs> Your son is eating his alive. two, three, four, oh. a green one, five. I like to have mixed chilies. I like the sort of sweetness and heat you get from the red ones. Also like that sort of like more earthy, grassy kind of flavor you get from the green ones. Now, if you're cooking for someone that doesn't like spice, because you might think this is a lot of chili for one person. That is a lot. <laughs> what I would suggest you do is to go and get yourself a pack of Romana peppers, which are the long red peppers. If you're in Thailand, you can just use Pichi Fa, which are the long red ones that aren't hot. But in England, you never know what chilies are hot and what are not. So if you're cooking for someone who doesn't like chili, then use the big, long Romana peppers, because you want that flavor from the chili or pepper. Dad? Yes, bud? Oh, good job, buddy. Be careful about Good power. job. Right, we're just going to pound this. Come in a little bit closer, babe, please. You know, I might, might be better off doing this on the floor. Thai style. All right, so when you're, when you're pounding chilies, always have your hand over the pestle and mortar because that chili can spring up in your face. This doesn't have to be super fine, but you do want to break the chilies up. Just looking for a rough paste here, guys. Right, do you know what I think that will do us, right? Mm -hmm. See that? All right. All right, next up guys, we're gonna get rid of a bit of this oil. All right, heat that up. As I said guys, as I said, we're not cooking on like an industrial heat wok, so we're gonna need to try and get this as hot as possible. Um, and the reason that I've only used 120 grams of chicken is because it doesn't matter how hot this gets on this little burner, as soon as the chicken goes in, it's gonna cool down the pan um, and stop the cooking process. Right, so the other thing I'm gonna say is some people will have all their sauces out in a bowl. Like in Thailand, they're all gonna be in separate bowls, all your sauces, but if you're only cooking one or two, I don't see the point. I'm not gonna give you specific measurements of a tablespoon of this, teaspoon of that, just eye it. The more you cook it, the more you'll understand how much you'll want to go into your own stir fry, okay? So I'm just giving you guidelines here, guys. All right, so, a couple of tablespoons of oil. You can come in close now, you don't? Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what we're looking for. Nothing bigger than that. All right, a few seconds, right? We don't really want this to burn, but it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit. See, as you can see, as soon as you put that chicken in, the pan starts to cool down. So if I had a bigger, more industrial sized <coughs> wok burner, <laughs> I could have started on low and just turned the heat up. Whereas this, Whoa. this is okay. starting to cool down. So what you could do here, if you want to keep the pan really hot, you could take this off the heat now, heat the pan back up and then drop it back in. For the purpose of this, I'm not going to bother doing that. All right, so let's read a few questions while this is cooking away, babe. Please don't get aggressive with your nice dog. never get aggressive with a dog. I moved the dog out of the way because he was about to eat a bowl of chili and garlic. So if he eats a bowl of chili and garlic, he could 
Exactly, and we wouldn't want that. All right, come in, come in close and have a look, babes. All right, so when I've got it to this point, it's pretty much 90% cooked through at this point. Now we're gonna start adding our sauces, okay? So, a little bit of a uh, golden mountain seasoning sauce. A nice dollop of oyster sauce. Now, there's two ways you can do this now. You can add the fish sauce now, or you can add the fish sauce now, which I would do, and I would have fish sauce on top, or you can just use the pick nam later on. So if I was cooking for Helen, for instance, who I know isn't gonna put the pick nam on top, I would put the fish sauce in now. Does that make sense? So if you know someone's not gonna put it on top, put it in now. If not, if they are gonna put it on top, you wouldn't wanna put it in now because it'll be too, um, it'll be too salty. All right. All right, we're just gonna let that cook through. As soon as that's caramelized up a little bit, you'll notice I didn't actually use any of the stock. I was a little bit worried. Um, it's gonna get hot enough and we'd have to use a little bit of stock to give us some steam. All right, next up, babe, we're gonna go in with our kapow. Hun? Yeah. All right, turn the heat off now. No, you've got to save it. She's eating all your rice. <laughs> all right, Finley's eating all the rice, guys. <laughs> so a nice handful of kapow and I'll say, um, I will put a link in this description of the live stream where you can get kapow leaves from delivered. B Thai food is where I got this and they'll do next day delivery. It's not cheap for next day delivery. It's about eight pounds. So I suggest you'd order a few different things. All right, that is done. Finney's eating all the rice. <laughs> She's left a little bit. Finney's eating all the rice. I mean, it's dinner time, isn't it? But that's not a problem. My son can eat whatever he wants. What the fuck is that for me? Right, there you go, guys. Hakapau gay. Pop that little egg on top. What's that for? Nice. Who's that for? And there you go, guys. Who's that for? Gary? Amy? Gary. Right, we don't actually have any knives or forks or spoons in this household, we so we're going to eat with a knife. But well, let me just crack the egg. <laughs> Bosh. There you go. That does look very tasty. All right, we'll have a little spoonful. Do you want some, buddy? It's not spicy. <laughs> you can't eat with the spatula. All right, I'll go and grab a. I'll go and grab a spoon. Got the chili fish sauce. Okay, but I'm not having this. What's the hot block on the floor with your dog? Yes, we are. We're keeping a close eye on him. No! I'm going to suck this out. Bit of chili fish sauce. Hello. Now, it's something I never order out, ever. Pakapau Gai. But. When done right, at home. No, it's perfect. Look, I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. You are a cowboy. That is one of the best pack of powers you've ever had. Helen even said, what did you say the other day? My pack of powers is the best. the best I've ever, ever, ever. Ever had. <coughs> Every one of my Thai friends I've ever cooked this for, always ask for it again. Because when you made it for me before, you made it low fat. Mm. Whereas he made it full fat, like didn't hold back, and it was amazing. Mm. That's incredible. All right, guys. Right, I will right, take over now. Yeah, do you want me to make you dinner, buddy? What, what about going to the bike? Hmm? What about okay, the bike? go in and see your auntie for 10 minutes, buddy. 
All right, guys, so how was that? Oh, Finley ate all the rice, Bruce. Finley ate all the rice, didn't you? All right. Yeah, weather's nice, mate. Weather's nice. Let me go through. What's he eating? He better not be eating any chilies again. Toffee, Toffs. No chilies, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, let, yeah, he can eat whatever he wants, but just not the chilli and garlic. He'll be dead. You do need egg too, Gary. I've done the egg. Hannah. So Gary's live. Right, where are we at, guys? He's not a bad dog. He's just looking for food, for me. Right, difficult to find the ingredients in England, but more Thai supermarkets popping up. Yes, so yeah, this bee Thai food, uh, she um, gets it all delivered from Thailand. Which is pretty good. So the, I think the fresh veg comes in on Monday. Don't all of you go and steal all my kapow while I'm here, but um, yeah, you order it Monday, it'll come, it'll be there Tuesday. You know Gary is serious when he owns a walk. Finn, please don't get aggressive with your nice dog. I think you've taken that well out of context there. To context, context there, Finn. I don't get aggressive with dogs. Um, I just didn't want him eating a massive chili and garlic. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come and say hello, buddy. Oh, come here, you big bear aggressive with him? Does it look like he... <laughs> Who could get aggressive with this boy? I think only a notification. Yes, well, um, it was an impromptu live. So, um, yeah, it was just a last minute thing. The pad kapow leaves, I mean the kapow... The kapow leaves were on their way out, so... They needed cooking. OTR is good too. Adam has a gift for storytelling. Yeah, Adam has the, everything. He's um, he's not just got a gift for storytelling, like his voice, which is perfect for narration, but his pure obsession, because um, I, I see a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes with them. Defi that's definitely my favourite channel on YouTube. Um, amazing work. The, 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 the whole team, the effort they put in every week. Right, where are we at? It is a very lovely dog, Finn. But I'm sorry, if I saw someone grab a dog like that and move it out of the way, I would also be like, what the f are you doing? Um, so yeah, I just got very uh, alarmed when, with what he was eating. How old is Pooch? How old is Pooch? Uh, how old is Toffee, bud? Seven? Six? Six, I think. What, what did you What did you buy me, buddy? A favourite pickle. My pickle. You bought me a some pickles. Ah, oh, my man. You want to say hello to everyone? Swadi kap. Hello. Swadi kap pi pan na. Okay. Okay. Bye bye, buddy. Okay. Someone needs Someone needs their dinner. Definitely going to give it a try if I can get the kapow leaves. Tracy, yeah, message me um, and I'll send you the... Uh, I'll put it in the link anyway, I mean in the description, but I'll send you the uh, the link for the ingredients. We love OTR too from your recommendation. My pleasure. I mean, you would have. everyone would have found them eventually because they're, they're unbelievable. So I don't think they needed me really to tell anyone about them. Your dog is so gorgeous. Guy. He is. He's an absolute legend to be fair. Person turquoise waving, person turquoise waving. Thank you, X. Jammy B, 89 bless. Hi, Nikki. Hey, Nikki, I didn't see you there, did I? How are you? Matt, awesome, Gary, loved it. Yeah, so guys, basically, this was going to be a cook along. So I was going to put the ingredients list. 
and you guys could cook along. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to do a quick sort of uh, trial run and then see how it went. And if you guys want to do this, I can do it once a week uh, and I'll put the ingredient list up and then you guys can sort of have a few days. So say I put the ingredient list up on a Friday, you can get the ingredients over the weekend or on Monday and then we can do it sort of Wednesday the following week. Oh, nice browser, Bob. Definitely going to original pack of pound 1993 in October. They're so good. Honestly, it's so, so good. I'll definitely give it a go. I actually just did a reel today out of my other video to give them a little bit more exposure, hopefully. But I think they're getting a lot of customers now, so they probably don't need any more customers from me. <laughs> Brits living in Spain. Hi, Nikki. Wing Yip Chinese supermarket on the north section in there. Hanging Lane has a lot of Thai food and veggies. I do, I, Wing Yip, I used to live in Wing Yip pretty much. Um, I went there a couple of days ago, but they're very good, but they don't ever have uh, Kapow leaves. But they do have loads of other stuff, so I used to spend the majority of my money in there. Did you borrow your cap from Jeff Carter? Just joking. What are you talking about? I actually don't know who Jeff Carter is, but I've got a feeling someone mentioned him the other day, actually. Is this the guy from Patea? Patea? A few people have asked me about the hat. If anyone does like the hat, it's a little brand called Passenger. And their slogan is Made to Roam, so I thought, why not? Is Kapow Thai Holy Basil? It is Holy Basil, yes. Not Thai Basil, it is Holy Basil or Tulsi. So Tulsi, you can also get it as sometimes in plants. Gary, we grow all the Thai herbs down here in the southwest if you need a resupply. Matt, I definitely do. And I'm sure a lot of other people watching this do as well. Do you do that on a large scale? Or is this like a hobby? I don't want to insult you if you've got like a massive thing going on, but... I'm sure everyone will want Thai herbs from you. Let's cook every week, but you did the best one today. Ah, yes, but we can do that again together. And next time, maybe we could use some nice fatty minced pork. Did you see Arsenal Man United? I did. We were both absolutely terrible, but thank God we had 10 minutes extra time to score those last two goals. Going back to Thailand in three weeks time. Oh, nice one, Jimmy. I mean, mate, we've got to try and catch up before you go back, mate. We're growing here a bit of an aniseed kick. That's Thai basil, I'd imagine. Brits living in Spain. That's Thai basil, different. Boo, Arsenal. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was you that mentioned that. <laughs> all right, mate. Yeah, funny, funny, funny. I did look him up. He seems, he's all right, isn't he? Oh, look, I've got something. Finley. What? Had on. Come here, why don't you say hello to everyone? So hello, he's, so, he's, so what do you come? Egghead, boom, boom! Everyone can see what you're doing, mate. No, There's no. A, a, nearly 100 people watching you. Yeah. Alright, come on, mate. Come on, come on. Alright, enough, enough, enough. Come on, go back come inside. On, go back on. inside if you're not going to be nice. Come on. No. Was that pain, tattoo painful on your inner part of your arm? It wasn't actually that painful, that one. Um, the worst one was on my back. They're all horrible tattoos. But I don't actually quite like that one, and I don't mind that one. But um, the rest, not, not for me. Next time, make some cow yum with Brit veggies. That's a great shout. I don't know if I get the budu. I might have to make my own. Oh no, maybe it's got. I don't know if it's got. I wouldn't say it's got an aniseedy taste though. Maybe it is highly basil. I wouldn't say it's got an aniseedy taste. It's the same when my grandson comes to stay. Stickers everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know it. It's a hot one today. It's absolutely boiling. Oh, Panna, I didn't even see that you'd um, you donated. Thank you so much. Kopong Kab for ice cream for Finley. Panna sent you £20 for ice cream, Finley. Thank you. Auntie Panna sent you £20 for ice cream. Come and say cop on cab. Cop on cab. Finny? Well, no ice cream, buddy. No 
just double checking no one else uh, sent any money that I've missed. No. That's absolutely fine, guys. Just being with me is enough. Do you know Cat's Thai restaurant near Stoke Newington? It's a good one, Kate. I have been told about it. But can I be honest with you guys, right? It, so many people have sent me... Um, have sent me recommendations to Thai restaurants. And it's not their fault. Because I know they've all got separate menus. Like, they've all got off menus with, like, Isan food and stuff. But everyone... And I, t I will go there because I, I do believe it's good. But as soon as I see prawn on toast on a Thai menu I just don't want to go to the restaurant because like like prawn on toast uh, fried dumplings and spring rolls as a starter like we don't we don't eat I say we I'm not Thai but I've never seen prawn on toast in Thailand not once ever in my whole 15 years of going there so as soon as I see that and then the same menu and then the list of Thai curries I just don't want to go there but I will try cats Finley, please go back inside. Back, no, back, no, back, no. Finley, I mean it. Go back inside, please. Thank you, Penny. You must have a sweet tooth. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Twenty dollars don't get you much for ice cream in London these days. That gets probably two ice creams. But very much appreciated. I'm just saying, like you, it's, it, you'd be surprised. It was like seven pound for an ice cream. Like, if you get, like, a proper, like, double scoop of, like, handmade ice cream, you're looking at seven mountain, yeah. Do you have a date to go back to Thailand? Uh, Mid-October, I'm hoping, but it could be December. Oh, doctor says no sweets. Anyway, savoury is much better, Panna. Did you notice the super chat from Bruce Wayne? Sorry, I was late. Not sure. I didn't, actually, no. I did not see the super chat from... Bruce but thank you so much Bruce because I'm not on YouTube it doesn't come up I'm not because I'm but thank you so much Bruce if I missed it I can't I can't see it Joe Parilla has jumped in with seven quid go on Joe is that for the ice cream oh because you want to get me one so Finley gets two and I get one good man Joe's got a new video out today guys if you didn't get a notification best food courts in Bangkok. I don't know why that just escaped my mind. Ban mai. Might be some of the best prawn toast and spring rolls you've ever had. It might be, mate. I've, I've got no problem with prawn and toast, just not a Thai dish. That's like me going to... I don't know. That's like me going to a Greek restaurant and saying, oh, have you got any... And then they've got paella on the menu. It's not a, it's not a thing. It annoys me. I should get out more. If, something, if that annoys me that much, I should get out more. Joe, hand pink waving. I don't get emojis either in here. $100 from Bruce. What a legend. Bruce, you are the man. I did... I did... I was going to do this at lunchtime at 12, and I did sort of strategically do it later, because last time I did a live, um, I remember Bruce saying that it was too early, so I thought I'd do it later, just so hopefully he could see it. And he has seen it, which is good. Please make Kwa King. I can get all the ingredients for that here. All right, guys, leave some comments on the bottom of the video in the actual description if you can, and just tell me what you want to see. Or Actually, I'll do a community post later on, and I'll ask you what you want to do for the next three, and then we'll go from there. I'm back in Batea in October. My son has a coffee shop there. You're welcome anytime for coffee, Gary. We'd love to meet you. Oh, that'd be great. Um, I'm probably going to do a video there. It won't be October because I won't be back till sort of late October, but November if I'm back. Yeah, let me know where the coffee shop is. I'd love to come down. Uh, I'd love to come down and, and check that out. You caught me, mate. You know we all love you. Thank you so much, my friend. I love you all too. Flying home Sunday, mate. See you in Isan. Sorry, my ain't caught up, mate. I've been so, just, I've lit, I've been working 10, 12 hour days, mate, every day. Sometimes evenings as well. Saturdays, like I've, I'm not complaining, but like I just haven't had time to do anything. Yeah, Bruce, very kind, always very kind, very generous. Especially now, guys. Like honestly, 
yeah I mean I'm not I'm as you can tell I haven't been able to sorry I can't even speak I haven't been able to get too much content out so um, yeah everything is helping at the moment guys so 200 nights soy cow talo Pattaya City okay mate is it got a name the coffee shop so I can because I won't remember that I can just rewatch it can't I yeah King Matt Some challenge. Put cow soy, cow soy on the menu. I do a really good cow soy if I do say so myself. So we'll do that. We'll do that. I'd love to, Jimmy, mate. I really would, mate. I've got to try and make some time, but it's, you know, I take some time and, uh, you know, I'm not working and you're losing money and we've got, I'm thinking about, well, we're going back. I've got to pay for flights. I've got to pay for this, for that. Uh, Mum in law's getting a lot better, thanks, Nikki. Yeah, yeah. She's really, really on the mend. Exactly right, Chef Ferengi, exactly right, mate. Great Chai Gaming, hello, mate. Nice to see you again. Yeah, no worries, Jamie. Nice to see you, mate. But Jimmy, we'll, you know what I mean? We'll probably see each other in Thailand before we see each other here, won't we? Let's be honest. We can have a good, good chat. Less stressful as well, isn't it? It's cheaper to get to each other. I could probably, I, I could get, I could take a taxi to Pattaya for cheaper than I could get the train down to see you in, in Folkestone. Oh, thank you. Uh, Gasparo 8, that really does uh, mean a lot to me. I'm so glad I could have helped. I could help. I don't know why I can't speak today, guys. Which I gave and I never left. I know you didn't, though. It's just nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. I haven't seen anyone for a while because I haven't done any lives, have I? Phnom Penh in the house. Nice to see you, Gaza. Dan, yeah, sure. Waiting for Gary to get back to Thailand. So JB will be coming with us. I must have missed something there. But I'm always up for JB and Dan. UK prices are madness. And I mean, like, how can anyone afford to go? I took Finley to the park the other day. I spent 70 quid in a park. Ah, oh, no, what? Brits living in Spain, day late. Ah, oh, you should have messaged me. I would have given you a list. Always. I'll be in Bangkok permanently. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got to have a little chat after this, Jimmy. We've got to have a little chat. A little chat. Oh, guys, good to do a live today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit all over the place with the cooking and stuff, but... What do you recommend instead of egg for vegan hakapau? Chris, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't replace the egg with anything. I would just make the hakapau. And what, I, what, I, what is really nice is instead of mince using diced mushrooms, you could even like, I wouldn't pulse them in a blender, they go a bit soggy, but finely chopped mushrooms and a little bit of diced tofu, fry that off with all the same ingredients, minus the fish sauce, of course. Perfect. And just, yeah, just don't, just suck the egg off. No, but I, do you know what? I haven't watched your latest video, Dan. I haven't had any time, but I'm going to watch it as soon as I finish. Uh, I'll watch Dan's video. All of Dan's videos are good. Masaman. My Masaman is unbelievable. I actually have a video of me kind of cooking Masaman on, on my channel, but not many people watched it. How oh, yay with Danny and Diggy and Nat. I was planning to go with you until. Ah, okay, nice. I love your effort, Gary, to bring Thailand content as always. I know everything is expensive back home. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not expensive if you cook yourself. Like, I mean, apart from the postage on that pack, on the Capaulis, it wasn't that bad. But no, I cook everything myself. So where I've been working so much, and then I cook for everyone, the whole family, and I cook all my own meals. When I do go out and have to buy food, I can't believe the price of it like I can't I can't get my head around it I'm not talking about good food because I don't mind paying for good food I'm talking about basic average chain restaurant not that I go to chains but you see the prices it's ridiculous thank you very much Nikki
what's the best place in Bangkok to eat Kapow? Well, Danny, as we said earlier, we're talking, there's a one called Kapow, original Kapow 1993 by Wong Wee and Yae, BTS station, amazing. There's loads, you know, it depends where you are. I wouldn't travel across town specifically to eat Pad Kapow, if it, so it depends where you're staying, because you can't say where the best is, because there's probably 100,000 different places selling it, but my personal favorites would be there, uh, there's one by Wat Pak Nam, the giant golden Buddha, which I love. And then uh, Suki, no name Suki, who is actually called Banoi. Uh, Banoi. By Bangwa BTS station, which is unreal. got a few I've got a video actually I've got a video of like seven pad kapows you should eat when you go to Bangkok my old man says I cook better than going out to eat I cannot win now oh, but of course you do Nikki I've seen you I've seen, I mean I, I almost tried to find your house on Sunday when I saw you post up that last roast dinner um, but that's it like it's so this is so it can be so disappointing to go out to eat um, if you cook because you're, pro you're getting substandard stuff. People can't, like, a lot of food here is substandard and mass produced, and you're paying what, 15 quid for it? It just doesn't make sense. Learned so many recipes in lockdown, I bet. Ahan Isan. Oh, Yakin Ahan Isan tea. Hold on. I'd love to, mate. Catch the fish out of the pool. Yeah, so what I'm... Chef Varang. So I'm planning to go up to see Big Duncan, Chef Varang. Yeah, and we're going to we're gonna catch some fish. We're going to cook some Isan food with him and his lovely wife. And um, we're going to document the whole thing. Okay, I check your profile, Gary. Love your vlogs. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, Danny, I think top seven. Or if you message me on Instagram, I'll, just, I'll send you a list. But I just don't always get my Instagram messages, so... That actually, while we're on that subject, if anyone does message me on Instagram and I don't message you back, just keep messaging me until I message you back because sometimes it goes to like requests for orders and all sorts. Chinese dishes, now we do not get takeaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sticky. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Because if, like, if you can cook, I love restaurants, yeah, and I wouldn't want to see like takeaways closed down and stuff, obviously. But if you can cook, there's absolutely no way you can't cook better food, unless it's really specific. Um, because you can, for the same price as your takeaway, you can buy better ingredients, right? So, I know a really good Thai restaurant, uh, Patum Nak Hill Soy Five. If you come for a coffee with us, we'll take you there for dinner. See what you think. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, let's do it. I'll send on Instagram. Okay, Danny, nice one, mate. Sounds like a plan, mate. Yeah, it's going to be wicked. I can't wait to get back. I'm, I just, like, I, I have enjoyed it here. It's been nice. I've even, I've even enjoyed working. I don't mind getting back, getting my hands dirty. I uh, lost a bit of weight in the process, so can't complain. Ready to go back to Thailand. Put it all back on. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go back now, guys. I'm ready to go back. Definitely. I'd use the same soy sauce as you. Lee Kum Lee, Lee. It's decent, isn't it? I use that or uh, Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River Bridge. Yeah, yeah. I don't use one of those two. But you can get that in Sainsbury's in like the little section. You know the little section they've got that's like not with the Chinese cooking stuff. They've got another section. Totally agree. And especially the price of the takeaways. It's a joke. It's an absolute... It's a joke. Like, but the, I, I can't blame them because then... I, so if I go to the Chinese wholesaler, right... So we talk, let's talk about Chinese restaurants, Chinese takeaways, right? I go to a Chinese wholesaler, right? And maybe last year or the year before when I come, uh, like a bag of fresh like chow mein noodles, right? Would be, or Shanghai noodles or something, would be like £1.59. Now they're £3.59. So they're still buying from there. So what are you going to do? Like this, They've got to put their prices up, of course. So it's just, it's gone mad. Pebmark is okay, not all that total tourist trap. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I actually quite like the kapow in there. I, I like um, I like that style of dry kapow. I do. If I went there, I would order the vegan one because I like that. 
although it's got an egg on so as someone said earlier that's not vegan but I like that vegetarian one they've got um, I would not travel across town for it but Bruce Wayne 50 ah oh, my man make some some thumb seafood next time all right why not I've got some nice tomatoes growing in the garden actually so we can take them off and we can use them I was looking at the tomatoes ripening just a little bit and I was thinking they would go really well in a some thumb we can have some green some red Make sure you tell them cookies for your staff tie takes. Yes. Oh yeah, I bet that. Exactly, of course it wasn't the same. In my Asian shop they call me Farang. <laughs> it's the same here in San Francisco. Gary, things are crazy expensive. I heard, yeah, I don't know if this is true, yeah. I think it was McFarlane was telling me, Max, yeah, that like uh, some Vietnamese restaurants in the States, especially in LA, are having to close down because gas has gone through the roof. And when you're cooking fur for 24 hours, it's just costing them too much. And then someone said to me, oh, why don't they just use electric? I guess they didn't have enough electric in California anyway, did they? So that's through the roof. So it's either like charge $30 for a bowl of fur or just shut down, I guess. Oxford is with spitting distance. It is, and I'm actually going to some park. I think it's classed as Oxford, but it's not really Oxford, but it's like Henley on Thames. Where is, uh, I can't remember the name of it, mate. Yeah, that and less business. Exactly, it's, it's hard, because it's a catch-22, isn't it? Because people haven't got any money to eat, so, and then everything's more expensive. And then the restaurants, if they ain't got the customers, they've got to put the price up because they've still got to cover the rent and their ingredients are more expensive. It's like just one, I don't know, what is it all about? Everything will be cooked by robots, won't it, soon? Use sweet if you can't get papaya. Yeah, yeah, good shout. I, I, that is a good substitute. Um, I can get fresh papaya just down the road from me, uh, green papaya. But to be honest, when I'm in England, I'd usually use, a, I'd usually do a cucumber some thum or cucumber thum or a sweet corn because I prefer both of those to, to, to papaya anyway and they're much easier to source but yeah that's a good shirt with the sweet you could use muli as well a uh, daikon so generous actually Bruce mate another $50 blows my mind how you guys support me carrot or cabbage yeah why not I mean, you go in Thailand, you get strawberries, apples in it. Food is expensive these days. But the new reality, and we just get used to it. Of course, of course. I mean, everyone, I think, you know, I just think it's like the, the, the jump because prices have steadily increased over the last few years. But it's, it seems to have, from, the, from this time to when I was here last time, which was only Christmas, prices have almost doubled for some things. And in some cases, more than doubled. So, yeah, I like beans sometimes. Tum, 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 to a fuck yow. Thai makeup? Where's Danny going? Oh, he's off. Yeah, yeah, he's off. Hom Sayot. Farm to cafe. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, instead of papaya, use long beans. Very delicious. Really crunchy, just fresh. It's a great salad. Love the sweet corn when you introduce. Yeah, one when you I market. It's one of the best. It's one of the best. Very fattening though, but because like, obviously it's starchy and you got a load of sugar all over it. All right, guys, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this in the comments, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. I think we'll do it, uh, like I said, I think Friday I'll put an ingredient list up. I'm going to do a nice, easy one. You'll be able to get all these ingredients, even the Thai basil if you live near a Waitrose. Um, we're going to do like a long aubergine, pork stir-fry with yellow bean. It's one of my favourite little tamsang 
uh, Kalgeng kind of dishes, side dishes, and um, I think you're going to really like it, guys. So um, we'll do that next week. And then any other ones you want to do, you just let me know, and we'll get those done. I will do. Thank you very much. I bet you do. Uh, mate, I bet you do, Bruce. I bet you do, mate. I know, I know, I know. All right, brilliant, guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys. See you soon. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for the super.